and welcome to another LEGO Hidden Side review. Today we're taking a look at set number 70418, this sort of lab set. Uh, once again, the front, the artwork is nice, but it's not really great at representing what you get inside the box. Uh, this side is much better at telling you what you get. So this is, yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, there are a few spare pieces in here, nothing too special about them. And of course, there, there was a sticker sheet inside here. And the instruction book itself is uh, quite thick for something that seems so simple, but there are a lot of smaller parts in here and the build was quite fun um, it's a little bit more complex than it seems so pretty good this stuff is quite small it's a bit of an interior design set if i just quickly turn it around you can see there's actually some some details here this would actually look like a part of uh, a back of some machinery you got some sticker details there a little step ladder to go up there and do repairs a little piece to stand something there uh, i'm guessing that's part of the gameplay for you to put someone there uh, when the uh, app demands maybe because that's a few things that i've actually played the uh, app now and one of the things they do is sometimes it's like put a minifigure on a piece and you're like okay i'll put one there and then it scans well it says it scans the minifigures and then it does something whatever uh so but, but anyway the back is still quite decent so that's that's cool you can use on both sides but of course our main side is here so starting on the top here we got these two electro things reminds me of like frankenstein's lab you got some energy beam balls there these can spin quite easily and then moving now we've got some panels there that's another sticker these two stickers too and um Got these three canisters there, I'm guessing apart for the game, but they do sort of fit the style of the set, even if you don't play the app. Nice little computer screen there, a camera, um, some chemicals, a pizza that's just there. That's, I uh, probably shouldn't put that there. Ooh, that's very uh, risky, put a pizza there. And we have a tiny piece that's supposed to be some sort of 3D printing, but whatever. It could be anything. And here's another one of those yellow pieces there that was... Uh, using the other sets for you know, putting a minifigure that's part of the gameplay. So whatever person they'll put inside, I guess they'll de-ghost him, maybe, that's the thing. And on this side we have this piece for rotating the different colors. Um, what the sets in the game map is, uh, in all other sets where you have these colors, it's just you choose a color and it'll, it'll do a different, sort of like, pick your current level. So you've got three levels here and then black is normally nothing. So nice little set, I kind of like this, reminds me of some of the Lego Batman movie sets uh, that they did. This is just a smaller one so you can combine with other ones to make it bigger. So I wonder if there'll be another set just to, you know, other lab equipment for other things to do. Once again, we have one of our like main characters here. He's got this smartphone, that's the same as the other ones. The hat is dual molded with the black print on top. See that? Dual molding. He has a very hee-hee face, and on the other side he has a mmm face, so that's that's cool. <laughs> it gets the job done, he's the same as the other one, so not really too much to say about him, but you know, the design's okay. We have this girl scientist with a Frankenstein monster's head, Adam's head on there. Uh, <laughs> the expression's really, really cool, just because they lego fight it, it's kind of cute, it's kind of silly. Uh, she's got some stuff and belt straps, and a little bit of green stuff dipped on there. <laughs> really not too good. She has her phone as well uh, of another monster and move on the bat the straps continue And she has a happy face. So she's got happy face and dirty face but I think the dirty face matches more because her like lab coat is actually dirty She does come she's the one that becomes like possessed by ghosts So she comes with a girl ghost possessed head although you know you can just put this with anyone it doesn't really matter and the girl's head is, of course, definitely printed on the back, which is a little bit more detail. And then finally we have him. This is kind of unique look. Um, it's quite interesting because he's an assistant. The uh, shirts and stuff are kind of retro. Kind of reminds me of like, just the colors. We might as well like something like Return of the Living Dead. Just very bright reds and greens, Con big contrast. And the design of him is pretty nice. He's got a uh, worried or scared, hurt face. And on the back, oh, it seems that blast is always on him. I hope it's not a fashion choice. <laughs> but now, yeah, I don't know. This is uh, this is a nice minifigure. I like it. And finally, we have this dog. Now, I do want to say, want to point out this. I have three of these sets now, and none of these dogs have the correct mold. Look at how that sprays out the white there. It's like you have a broken sort of like shredded cloth on top of a transparent mold. None of them have that. This one's just smooth. Uh, smooth, 
just kind of wavy lines. One of the other dogs has the opposite effect of this, but this wavy line just on the other side just looks wrong. And even the best molded one doesn't look that good at all. This is kind of unacceptable. It's it's frustrating. It's annoying. As a set on its own, for the price it's being sold for, I think it's very reasonable. It's a nice little set. You've got some very unique minifigures here. Again, I just really hate how these dogs have turned out. They just don't look right. I wonder if anyone has one that's molded just like it is on the box. Can you show me? Like, does anyone actually have that? Um, that would be nice, just for once. Uh, but the set itself, I think it's the highlight. I bought this for a set because of the, you know, Frankenstein's monsterness to it. And, you know, they, they know that because she's wearing a shirt with Frankenstein's monster on it. And I like that this set also has a bit of a back display. Kind of reminds me of uh, also like Half-Life 2 when you're in the lab and you're waiting for scientists to talk and he's doing experiments. And, you know, you walk around the back and just fiddle with everything. That, this reminds me of that too. You got that, you know, uh, construct vibe to it and just more mechanical vibe to it so that that's really cool as for the app itself I've not played the level for this yet but I have played the app on the other two sets that I picked up and and it's pretty good it, it's it's nothing special honestly but it's it's a nice little fun bonus distraction you know you just scan your phone on the set and, and just sort of uh, shoot ghosts like just move your phone around to aim at a ghost that pops up and after you do that like three times because uh, you know you got the three different colors on each of these sets uh, the, a little mini boss will come out and you shoot that too and if you don't have any of these sets you can still download and play like parts of it there's a little ghost mode where it's that's not uh that's not like an AR thing, that's just a built-in 3D level of some, some of these sets as a landscape. And it's like a third-person thing where you just fly with a ghost going around like infecting places. So you play both sides, you play the ghosts and, well, I guess the humans. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice little fun thing, there's, there's no in-game purchases, you know, no loot box or anything. Uh, you just sort of level up your ghosts in ghost mode and you level up the town by clearing the ghosts in the sort of AR human mode. So it's a nice little distraction and I look forward to playing it with this as well. And there is, there are some replayabilities, you know, you can replay the same locations and, and it carries on like leveling up your, your character. So you can do that too. So yeah, pretty decent set. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.